There's the picture of the Sunday. Yep. That's sort of our symbol of this lavish, wonderful gift of God. Okay? The younger, sorry, the older brother, his experience is he, well, first of all, he takes a look at the Sunday. He takes a look at these beautiful gifts. And I'm sure he's saying, why does he get a Sunday? Like, he didn't do anything. In fact, he wished you were dead, Dad. And there was this sort of flagrant sin against you. I mean, he doesn't deserve a Sunday, does he? That's the older brother's mentality. No wonder he was freaking out and angry. Because the older son's approach is saying, but Dad, I've obeyed everything that you've done for me. But Dad, I've never broke the rules. But Dad... You know, you've told me to do this and I'm doing what you've told me to do. And we do the same thing too. We're like, God, I like I read my Bible every day. Uh, I pray. I pray really good, actually. Uh, you know, I'm doing all of the right things. And this is how we've sort of reduced our relationship to God, this transaction. And so, when we've got this lavish love of our Father, what cream? <laughs> this got a little messy in the first service. Here we go. <laughs> The lavish love of the Father, you know, we've, we've sort of given him thimble-sized experiences that we can sort of experience his love. And so, you know, we're hoping that God sort of does this. It's like, yep, love it, good, thanks for doing that. Yep, you're a good prayer. Uh, going to church on Sunday, that's great. Read your Bible, wow, that's awesome. And we sort of reduce this down, right? And we don't experience this lavish love. The Son didn't do anything. And the father was like, here, because you're my son. And for us, it's like this. It's like God is saying, no, no, I love you. I love you just the way you are. You're my son. You bring me great joy. You're my child. That is where we get our identity from. And so, when it comes to the lavish love of the father, <laughs> okay, it's like, you don't have to do anything. I really, really love you. I think you're amazing. I want to bring you peace and joy and overflowing lavish love so that your life can be spent with me. It's so fun. <laughs> okay, he's like, you know what? And I have a lot of peace. I, I wanna give you peace and security. I love you. I love you so much with sprinkles on top. I mean, it's just amazing, right? This lavish love of the Father is what we're to experience. And yet we've created a relationship with our Father that's reduced down to the things that we do. And we feel like our worth is just reduced to these things. And yet God says, no, no. Your identity is my child and I love you. And we can operate out of that. And because we can operate out of that, the older brother could have come into the party and celebrated with his younger brother and they would have all felt like they belonged because they were receiving this same lavish love of the father. Let's ask ourselves, as people who have older brother tendencies, how difficult have we made it for younger brothers to come into our midst? <laughs>